Adam 22 has been at the center of controversy more often than not. More recently for auctioning off his wife in a flopped reality show to see which lucky BBC haver will cuck him next on camera. Pause. Pause? Pause what? You said something gay, so you gotta say no homo. Being a 40 year old man claiming that Aiden Ross stole his reaction to Drake's me. And now for ruining a relationship, hours after it started. Let me explain. So recently the host of Hot Ones, Sean Evans, had went public with his now ex-girlfriend and corn star, Melissa Stratton. Now you may be wondering, ex-girlfriend, why did they break up? Well, because after hearing the news of their relationship, the most famous cuck on the internet, Adam 16, who she just filmed with, months prior decide to weigh in on the situation with a backhanded congratulations to sean evans tweeting out congratulations sean her pussy is fire now this tweet will be bad enough by itself but it ended up getting reposted everywhere needless to say within a couple of hours sean evans who was probably completely humiliated broke up with her <laughs> now i don't know how anybody even knows that they broke up but out of 16 realizing this is the most viral he's been in a long time decides to double down on the violation of sean evans in an instagram video that's let's just say not age appropriate. He would tell Sean that he owes Melissa Stratton an apology. And in my opinion, desperately trying to cling going to this moment of virality, coming out looking more corny than he came in, which is saying a lot. Hey, Sean Evans, you know what I'm not feeling? I'm not feeling you breaking a worker's heart on Valentine's day. Nobody deserves that. Melissa Stratton is a beautiful woman. Yes, she has chosen to have sex on camera for her career yes she has had 13 inch dick in and around her face mouth possibly but i don't know i gotta go search it up but you are playing with her heart and that's not cool because she's a woman and valentine's day is a sacred holiday and you're supposed to treat girls right on valentine's day sean i don't know why i have to tell you this i feel like you know your parents probably should have taught you this at a certain point but uh sean you really don't want smoke with the sex worker community. So I would appreciate if you would apologize to Melissa for publicly shaming her on Valentine's Day, the sacredest of days. And then also I would like to invite you to come and lay something down on the plug talk couch. Let's see what you're packing. Uh. I mean, if bragging about sleeping with someone that was paid to do it wasn't corny, I don't know what it is. By any standard, including corn star standard, telling the internet that you smash someone's girl the moment that they announce that they're together is just plain corny. I mean, imagine being Sean Evans and you finally get comfortable enough to publicly date someone. And then a 40 year old cuck tells you that your girl has good bops. But if it couldn't get any worse, Adam and Melissa Stratton would actually do a post breakup interview. Before I posted the tweet saying that you're supposed to was fire i asked you if you would yeah. find it funny in part because i just in my head assumed this can't this isn't a real relationship i oh. I, I felt like i understood <laughs> that you had a situation i don't yeah. actually know the technical details of your situation no. but i thought that you had a situation going so i yeah. thought that this had to just be a hookup and that it was being like erroneously reported by the media to be a relationship yeah that's why i thought that that comment would be funny and then yeah. as time goes by, I start to realize like, oh shit, it was a little more serious than I acknowledged. Now, to be fair, if you're dating a corn star, you do have to expect some type of backlash. And if you're not prepared for that, then you probably shouldn't be dating a corn star. But let's be honest here. Out of all of the corn stars that she's probably shot with, it was only one who bragged about it on Twitter. I mean, dating a corn star is one thing, but having it pushed in your face unsolicited is still fucked up. And this wouldn't even be Adam's first time bragging about sleeping with a woman who had financial incentive to do so. As he would brag to his so-called friend, Danny Mullen, in front of everyone about how Danny Mullen's girl ate his ass. And when Danny Mullen would vocalize his feelings of being disrespected, Adam would just blatantly continue violating Let's him. talk about uh, your girlfriend licking my butthole. I Holly was already Day. close to walking out of here as it was. Holly but Day. you bring that shit up like it, and that's disrespectful of a tone. It hurt enough when you actually did it in person, but you bringing up bringing it up now is completely uncalled for and over the line. I also feel like I might have kissed her more than I've ever kissed a girl that I did a scene with, just because I don't know the ass licking 
plus the fact that I knew you were in the other room. The fact that Adam has to live with the image of his woman getting plowed by a six, seven buff black dude. Literally winning an award for that scene. And fun fact, she won an award for the first scene she shot without Adam. All while Adam never wanted her to shoot with other guys in the first place. If you, let's just say you decided, you was like, I'll let somebody perform with my girl. Do you look at it like it's just the business side of it, it's for the sport? Or do you look at it like, like, nah, nigga, this is my woman? You get I, what I'm saying? I don't know that I would be able to yeah. keep that separation. Yeah. Let me Good. just be real with you. I don't Good. know that I have being that real, emotional maturity. Good. That's yeah. Because of this, he desperately wants other men to feel the same pain he does. Because, you know, hurt people hurt people. And by the way, I haven't seen Danny Mullen on the podcast anytime recently. But anyways, thank you for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.